more Medic One here. Hey, listen, 07 Dodge Caliber. Pretty common issue. Uh, customer states, check engine light is on. Uh, throw in the only code is P0217, which is the intake manifold runner control circuit high. And normally when that happens, replacing the part alone is not going to fix your issue that you can replace the intake manifold uh that runner control right here i've already got it loose this is that stepper motor right here as you can see that has a screwdriver slot in it sort of like a all oh, known uh oblong rectangle slot that fits into the manifold right here and let me show you that with a some better light right in here i'm gonna zoom in if i can and show you what's going on here all righty guys this is where that stepper motor plugs into if it's all corroded in here you need to clean that out but however you should be able to take your finger or a screwdriver and move this back and forth the intake manifold runners are stuck. Probably the stepper motor itself is probably good. However, it's gonna get replaced because whenever you replace this intake manifold, which is a job and a half, takes about three and a half hours to do it, three and a half, four hours, uh, it's gonna come with a new stepper motor it's going to come with a, a couple other uh, sensors to do the manifold of course you've got to pull the radiator hose and get it out of your way uh, you don't have to do it but I like to take the uh, the front cowl and the fans out of here it just makes it so much easier to get to all these hidden bolts and uh, yeah, we're not gonna do this job right now. We're gonna wait probably till the fall, till it gets a little bit cooler. But I just wanted to show you guys, if you have a Chrysler product, Jeep, something like that, that has this style of intake manifold runner control, if you replace that, you need to check and make sure that your runner flaps are moving. That manifold houses four butterflies on a shaft and the, that those butterflies uh, where it runs through that plastic just will wear out and it'll just cause those butterflies to get hung up inside that manifold and that is what's happening and that's why it's throwing the uh, the code is because the motor can't turn depending how long you've driven it like that you probably may have damaged the gears in the stepper motor but like i said the new manifold will come with a new stepper motor and a few other uh, sensors that are needed for the repair. For the time being, we're just gonna set the replace or not replace, just we're gonna put the old part back in. That little sucker was a little bit of a pain in the Batuski. Uh, another telltale sign is if, if you have to take that and clock that to put it on and then clock it in place to let it set in its home, then you know that the those runners are stuck. That's another way you can do it. So if you go to replace this stepper motor and you have to clock it backwards and then put it on, then you know that uh, your, your flaps are not uh, lined up. Here's a trick I've been using for decades. Like to get to the bottom bolt on this thing, if you'll just take your wrench or your socket and put you just a piece of plastic. I'm using a piece of Amazon packaging push that up in there that'll hold your screw like you wouldn't believe
guys, this Milwaukee M12 underhood light is just absolutely awesome. All right, guys, hey, even though we didn't get to finish this repair, it's been basically a diagnostic video for you guys that own Chrysler products. They put these on Jeep Liberties. Uh, I don't know how many different Chrysler products this will cover. I'll try to put that in the description. But anyway, hey, if you found this helpful, and I know it did, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.